Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Amnesia The Dark Descent, a completely blind Let's Play brought to you on behalf of GameAnyone.com by Frozen Foxy. You can all go ahead and thank Raziel109 who won second place, and uh, this is the game he chose uh, for his raffle winnings. There's uh, still that third place out there if you want to go win that, but uh, for now we're going to go ahead and do uh, this game. So let's go ahead and get reading. What follows is a couple of quick messages on how to get the best possible experience. You know, I've never actually started this game before, at all. This is literally the first time I've started up this game, so this should be very interesting. Amnesia should not be played to win. Instead, focus on immersing yourself in the game's world and story. Well, I, I like doing that, so you don't really have to tell me that, but okay. Do not worry about when and how to save during gameplay. The game will take care of that for you. When you want to leave the game, just choose Save and Exit. You can then use Continue to return to where you left off the next time you start up the game. Is this, is this really necessary to explain to someone who's probably been playing games for a long time? Okay, whatever. The world of Amnesia is a dangerous place, and you are extremely vulnerable. Do not try to fight the enemies encountered. Instead, use your wits, hide, or even run if necessary. Oh great, this, this is sounding like a barrel of laughs. The interplay between light and dark is very important to the game, and because of this it is vital to set up the gamma correctly. Use the slider control below uh, to do so. Adjust it until the square at the right is barely visible. Also make sure to play in a dark room and wear headphones for the best effect. Well, I've got the headphones down, but uh, it's a little bit bright in here. I can't do anything about that. Anyway, um, so what am I supposed to adjust it to exactly? You didn't... Um, said set the okay adjust it I, I don't know why I didn't remember that it said uh, until the square at the right is very bit or uh, barely visible um, square at the right I don't um, I don't see the square okay there I can see the square now this might be really bright for um, for people watching this okay I can I can kind of see the square at one gamma here um, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably keep it at that I mean, at the same time, I can... I don't know if I can see that square, or if it's just that I saw it before, and it's my eyes playing tricks on me now. No, that, that looks too bright. I'm going to leave it at 1. Well, go with 1. So I, I feel that when I played Penumbra, it, it was a little too bright when I went back to look at it. Maybe that's just me, I don't know. Anyway, that is all. Hope you enjoy immersing yourself in the world of Amnesia Fictional Games or frictional games, I should say. Whatever. That's a interesting object there. New player. Okay. We shall be Frozen Foxy. Let's go ahead and create that. This, this sounds a little bit loud to me. I don't know if that, um, if that is going to carry over to the recording. I think I'll probably go over and and check out if that's really loud right now or or if this is good volume. So I'll be right back in just a moment. Alright, I think the volume is adjusted properly. That is one of the things that um, going into the game blind and starting up for the very first time um, has as a downfall because you don't know if the music's going to be fine or not. You don't even know if the controls are going to be fine. I'm hoping that the controls are pretty much the same as um, as the original Penumbra game. I'm I'm pretty sure that it is because it's from the same company. It's it's more or less a spiritual successor to um, to the original Penumbra series. Apparently, there's a custom story. I 
don't quite know what that means. Um, I might check that out later, but uh, anyway, let's go ahead and start a new game and uh, let's see what happens. I don't know why you would say no to starting a new game right when you're when you're trying to enter the first game here. It's kind of weird. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Alright, so what are we loading up to? Taking a little while. Might cut some of this out. Jeez. Don't forget. Some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at... at... Uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... is... I am Daniel. What is going on? I feel rather confused so far. That's probably natural. Is that, uh... Just like some rose petal juice or something? What What is going on here? Or is that blood? Is that supposed to be blood? I don't think I've seen pink blood before. A memento has been added to the journal for... Quick access to your mementos. Press M. Make sure to check these whenever you get stuck. Okay. It's a memento. Uh, follow the liquid trail and find its source. So I'm guessing that's that pink stuff that I saw. Um, I'm guessing that mementos mean that they're telling me where to go, more or less. Because unless this feather is a memento that I'm supposed to be looking at, then I don't know what they're talking about. It's kind of interesting how they have this little bit of motion blur when you're when you're moving around the camera. Hmm. Oh, I can uh, I can lift things. When grabbing an object, press right mouse to throw it. Hold down R and move the mouse to rotate the object. Okay. Ah. That's interesting. Does that mean I can uh, rotate it just so I can like put it back down on the table silently or something? Oh yes. That would have been um, really, really neat to have in, in Thief Deadly Shadows when you basically picked up an item and you were trying to set it down quietly when something was around. It would have also been really awesome in the original Thief games because there was boxes that you could technically like stack in there. X0, that kinda looks like a lighter and that's that's kind of a candle I guess. Um, no tender boxes left. Okay, so apparently we get tender boxes and uh, this is leaning here. Okay. I'm getting the hang of this. Now that looks like blood. That pink stuff, not so much, but uh, Definitely... Can I crouch? Yes, I can. Um, yeah, definitely getting a little bit of a blood feel there. Oh, it's a toggle crouch. I like toggle crouches. Those are better than uh, holding it down. Hmm. Some kind of bird-looking thing. Alright. Well, let's see if we can't... Uh, can't find our way out of here. Apparently, there's a lot of things to light, but um, not a lot of uh, tinder boxes so far to help me out. Well, let's go ahead and follow this this pink. This actually has a, a real Thief Deadly Shadows kind of feel to me so far, with the uh, medieval looking castle type thing. Alright, where did that where that pink stuff go? I see it ending right there, but um I don't know. I okay, I can see kinda see some right over here. Why am I like wobbling? What's going on here? 
That was weird. What was that all about? I don't know what this this wobbling kind of thing is about. It's kind of odd. It's like my guy has uh, has a sleeping disorder or something. He's starting to pass out. Don't know what that's about. Was it was it about moving over here? Because no. Ooh, armor. Can I? Yeah, I can pick this up. Can I put it on my head. No, not really. Well, that was kind of noisy. I wonder if I can take the rest of this thing apart, or, or if that was it. No, it seems to be it. Too bad I can't put that armor on. That would probably, uh, probably be a very good defense. Add some more light over here. Okay. What, uh, what was that all about? I'm, I'm guessing that meant that this was locked. Wow, it feels like my screen is, like, tilting. This is... It's kind of cumbersome. It's a little bit awkward. What the... Uh, I think it's just the wind. Don't worry about it, bub. Can I, uh... No, I can't take that candle off the wall to, uh... To help me out. Hold down the left mouse and move the mouse in order to move the door. Press right mouse to throw the door open or shut, depending on the direction you face. Alright. What do we have in here? What is this thing? Picked up tinderbox. Tinderboxes are used to light candles and other light sources in the environment. The current amount of tinderboxes is shown in the inventory tab. Alright, let's see here. I've got a brain which says my sanity is crystal clear. Oh my god, is this going to be one of those games with sanity in it? Oh, I like this already. Uh, let's see, health all is good. Uh, used to ignite sources in the environment. I wonder if one tinderbox can work for multiple um, candles. Like you can you can wait till the match wears out or whatever it is. Um, or if it only works for one light source. Let's see here. Oil. Used to keep the lantern flame alive. When it runs out, the lantern can no longer be used. So I guess I get a lantern at some point. Um, then I have a journal which contains all the notes that have been picked up. Click to open it. We've got notes, diaries, and mementos. No notes available, apparently. No diaries available. And we're still following that liquid trail here. Can I just press tab to get out of this? No, that doesn't quite get me out. You can quickly check the most recently read text by pressing N. Oh, really? What does that do? I'm, well, I'm pressing it, but uh, not getting anything spectacular here when I'm pressing N. Apparently I've already got a shirt on, so I don't need another one. So, uh, anything, anything in here that would have blown open this door? This is really getting awkward, having the, uh, having the screen tilted a little bit to the left. Can I, yeah, I'll just kind of lean while I'm walking around. <laughs> Let me just lean so that I can, uh, I can see where I'm going in a less awkward fashion. Well, here's another tender box. A broom. Ooh, okay. That is a very nasty looking broom. It doesn't look like you could really sweep anything with that. It almost looks like a a sack on a stick. Can I can I sweep anything with this? Can I clean this up? No, not really. I'll just leave that broom there. It kind of kind of propped itself up for me, so that's that's a nice place for it. Very stiff broom. 